All right, cronies. How's it going, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. I'm well. Um, here we go, man. This is another way to do a column. Okay, so this is like a column inside of a corner that just can't be like completely hidden inside the steel stud wall. Um, this is a patch in as well uh, and a double layer, uh, double layer five eighths wall. So what, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut that drywall out nice and neat, going to replace it, uh, make sure the wall's insulated, okay, and then I'll show you how to build the corner. Same thing basically as I showed you with the other columns. Um, if you missed my other column video, I'll link it in the cards above, okay, so you guys can go back and see that. Um, it'll tell you exactly how I did the layout on that, and you basically do the same thing here, okay. You just want to find be this, be as tight as possible. Okay, um, so there you go. I got it cut out and uh, insulated. Uh, you want to insulate all the way around. I am going to insulate the, the inside and the outside of this beam before I completely drywall it. Uh, but it's pretty simple, guys. Like, you just got to get your layout nice and nice and tight, okay? Because especially in this case with these columns, they're so big because they're double. Uh, they, uh, these guys, the iron workers, added a second column, okay? Um, but yeah, just check it out. See what I'm doing here. I'm going to add a piece of angle in there to catch the drywall one way, okay? And I got it one angle on the wall, so it's level. I'm using my lasers, always using my lasers. I use a, a line laser and pin laser for these. Um, but yeah, you see that. I just use drywall screws, and I and I screw the one on, to the one wall, and then I use uh, framing wafers to screw a piece of angle to that stud. And uh, then, yeah, this is the face piece here, okay? So I've cut my piece of drywall. I'm using my clamp to screw the angle on and I just basically move the clamp down as I screw okay and then boom voila right it it goes perfectly on there it screws in and you can see right there I still have a piece a bit of stud there now for the first layer of the wall drywall okay so when I uh, when I double layer the the inside of the column uh, it'll be, uh, I'll have enough backing in there to catch all the drywall, okay? I'll have enough backing to catch everything I need. But, uh, look how tight that's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna look nice. It does look nice in the end. It's super strong. It's not going anywhere, guys, especially with double layer 5 8s And all this is heavy gauge angle and, uh, heavy gauge steel stud, right? So, on the back side here, they, uh, um... Same thing. See that little piece of angle? I got an angle there, and then I'm going to have another little piece up on top of the um, um, the tile there, if possibly. I can't remember if I did or not, but you can see the two little pieces up there. You got to get backing just basically everywhere you can, okay, as, ma as many places as you can. Um, but it, it's not, it doesn't have to be continuous, okay? Um, it, cause we want the, we want the finished product to be as tight as possible. Like you can see those columns in the back there, that's double layer five eights and they look big, but they're, those are as tight as you possibly can get. Oh, there goes the camera. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to show you the backside, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's again, I pre-installed the angle. Okay. Uh, I got my line laser. You can see at the top there, how I've got it attached. And then again here, right? That's it, that's why I put the angle on first because it's just be too hard to get it on uh, when when it's up when the drive is already up and on. But look at it's so tight in there. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze insulation in there. You're not gonna get to see that in this video, but I do squeeze it, itch in there, and um, uh, before I drywall it. And there's that last piece of drywall um, for first layer. So now when I do, I got it set up. So now when I do second layer, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bring a sheet right out to the back corner and I'll cut the bevel off of it, obviously. And I'll bring it right to the far corner. And then, yeah, it'll be one seam, two sheets on that wall to tape, but you can see at the top there, how I just cut it around the beams. It doesn't have to go all the way up. It's going to be fire sprayed at the top. Okay, so you just have to get it up to the structure, and you're good to go. Okay, so look at that. And then this this other wall here gets another layer, and then that wall the here is double layer. Uh, but I, we wanted to leave that opening open because that, that's what separated the two units. And there you go, nice and tight at the top. You know, and just like I said, get angle wherever you can. And uh, yeah, you guys, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down below in the comments because I get back to every one of you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, please tell me what you want to see next. This is Chris, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.